question. Will the deep state go after Kurtz Card Care? Very interesting video the last few days from Vintage Sports Shack regarding Kurtz Card Care. And let's take a look at this. This is, I think, from Friday. I was going to do a video earlier, but I just got back into town. Uh, want to know about Kurt's card care. Just wanted, wanted to know. So I called the FBI. You can call the FBI. It's 1-800-CALL-FBI. Uh, gives us some prompts. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, hit number six. Nothing they said. One, two, three, four, five didn't fit. So I hit number six. Got a new agent, gave him some information. Hey, my name's Paul Davison. Uh, I'm in the sports card hobby. And I just have some general questions. If someone uses this product, I explain to them everything. Uh, about Kurt's card care, everything. Said, hey, if I use this product and uh, someone sends it to PSA and gets a grade, uh was asking questions and he's like, well, that would be up to PSA. If PSA wants to turn you in to the FBI for fraudulent, PSA can do it. Now, this card that was recently deactivated, you should be thanking your stars that's all they did. Because PSA can call uh, the FBI and turn you in. That is very interesting. So, based on this conversation, the FBI said that PSA, they could go call the FBI and it would start an investigation. So, it's up to basically P PSA to initiate this. Now, I don't think PSA is going to initiate this. Here's the reason why. Because this is going to open up Pandora's box. How many people have used Kurt's card care? How many people on Instagram are showing instances where they've admitted to using Kurt's card care? A ton. A lot of people. And they're just boasting. They're bragging. So that's why PSA most likely won't do that. Now, I do believe that they were trying to throw a bone at the situation because it was a very embarrassing situation when you had one guy admit at PSA headquarters, thanks to Kurt's card care. They had to do something, and I think this is one thing that they'll do. Now, the question is, is the FBI going to go after him? In other ways, shape, or form. I don't think so. But who knows at this point. What people are talking about in the comment section is they believe that he may be liable in the future. Suppose someone sends cards to PSA. And it doesn't work. end up working out. A bogus lawsuit may be placed on behalf of Kurt's card care or he may be sued and he may have to deal with that cost. Some people will be like, hey, look, this solution is supposed to help me get a better grade and it's not. I do believe that if someone is bitter at Kurt's card care for whatever reason and they've lost money when they're trying to juice up the cards someone may sue him will PSA snitch to the FBI most likely not but you have to also look at the history of PSA there's this uh, Honus Wagner card T206 one of the first cards that were graded when they came into existence, the card that Wayne Gretzky had, the T206, and it was exchanging hands and hands and hands. And 
what happened was it was first sold by Alan Ray to the fame. And I'm over at Cardboard Connection. Alan Ray to the sports memorabilia dealer named Bill Master. He sold it to him, the one-time owner of Master Auctions. And years later, Master Auction was the subject of an FBI investigation for using certain methods such as car doctoring, price fixing, and shill bidding to increase profits. And what ended up also happening was... In October 2023, the controversy caught up to the Gretzky Wagner as Bill and Bill Mastro admitted to trimming the card. He trimmed the 206 card. He went to jail for that. How many cards are trimmed today? A whole bunch. There were a bunch of people on the Mastro list. And he had to take the fall of it. There's so much hanky-panky right now. There's most likely money laundering going on. Nothing's going on. Why did Master take the fall and everybody else didn't? That's something to note. And if you look at the FBI, you could look at PWCC. FBI was investigating doctored baseball cards a couple years ago. What happened to that investigation? We don't know the, all of the details from that. Why is that covered up? Or why haven't the details been shown to us? All of them. A couple of people have said that, hey, look, if their FBI is not going to release these documents, someone may end up trying to get an FOIA FOIA request from them is they don't hear anything. So just looking at this video here and what's going on in the past. Okay, sure, Mastro was caught. But there's so many people out there doing shady things right now. And you really don't see the crackdown of this v via the deep state. So... That's just my own thought process. I personally, if I were to use Curse Card Care, I would stop. I've never used it, by the way. The reason is I don't know what the liability is. And for Kurt, from my understanding, he doesn't put the ingredients on there as well. That's a red flag. So I would advise caution. And I know that Vintage Sports Shack would probably do the same. I would say, hey, don't do it. There's better ways to make money and make money the right way without doing the hankiest pankus. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.